Mm. I just love that it has no small bones to it. So like, it makes it really easy to eat. Oh, that's some bones. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Hi hey guys. guys, welcome to Seoul Pop Sun Challenge. Challenge. So we have Amanda here today. Hi guys, my name is Amanda. I'm from Canada and I've been in Korea for over four years now. So we're here at Nagondong Agotim Street and I don't know if you've heard of this street. I haven't actually. Tried of this food? I don't think so. Okay. In 1972, the first Agotim restaurant in Seoul appeared on the streets of Nagondong. Originally, it wasn't possible to eat fresh Agotim in Seoul. However, one restaurant owner mastered the way in which to cook Agotim and began selling it. So because of the COVID-19 situation right now, mm -hmm. we're just going to get some takeout and then we're going to eat it at home. Let's Yay. go. So now that we're home, let's open this up and eat. Whoa! Oh, look at all bean sprouts. Bean sprouts. Eggs? I love eggs too. You can take all the eggs. Really? Yeah. Mmm. It's really thick. Mmm. And tender. It's super tender. It just falls off. It has like a very traditional fish taste. Like not too strong though. It's a nice light fish taste. Ooh, I saw. It's not as spicy as I thought. Mm -mm -mm. Same. So it's good for you, right? Yes, this is good for me. Usually if it's too spicy, like I have my rice and my cola. Emergency. <laughs> mm. I love the eggs. You call these the eggs too? Mm, but we usually don't eat them. Now that I think about it, I feel like we throw a lot of food away. Wow. It kind of has a smoky taste to it. Like the sauce, it's spicy. Not too spicy, but there's a little bit of smokiness to it, which makes it really nice. It's a really good balance. I can see why this place is famous. So actually this restaurant is where it all started in Seoul. Mm. And like we ordered not only agujin, but like it was a special menu of seafood and agu. So I like how various types of seafoods, like mm. octopus, shrimps, and ooh, my favorite, the eggs. You gotta get ready. Mmm. This is so chewy. Good? Mm-hmm. Mmm. <laughs> I wonder if they saw me and they're like, let's make it less spicy. Mmm. <laughs> Shrimp is so good. What I really like about this is that each individual seafood still maintained its seafood taste. Like sometimes when you eat it like this, when it's all cooked together, it just tastes the same, but everything tastes different, which I really appreciate. So this agu, have you ever seen this fish? I have, and it's so ugly. Really? Yeah. I want to check it out. It's so ugly, but it's delicious. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so ugly. I just love that it has no small bones to it. So like, it makes it really easy to eat. Oh, that's some bones. Oh, <laughs> never mind. It looks like a big steak piece. Mmm. Oh, it's so tender. Look at all that white meat. That's really, really good. Honestly, it kind of has a texture between chicken and fish. Like it doesn't have a fish texture to it. it. It's almost like chicken. So if you're not a big fan of like the fish taste, I would definitely suggest eating this. So good. So usually you eat fried rice after this, like the veggies. Ooh, that sounds good. Let's make our own. Yeah. Oh, what's good though? Mmm. Oh, it's really good. I could have just eaten this the whole time. I prefer this. <laughs> it has a little bit of smoky mm. taste. If I had some lettuce or cum, this would be perfect. Mm. To make a little wrap and then eat it. So actually, usually when you have food in Korea and if it has a sauce to it, it's very likely that you can ask for a bokumbap afterwards and they can add different things to it. It's on the menu. And I really like it because it's like having a second course. It's kind of like the dessert in a way. If yeah. there's bokumbap, you gotta order it. Yeah. It's like a must. It's funny though, because sometimes I like the bokumbap part more than the main dish. And you're just like, can we do bokumbap now? No, okay. Can we do bokeh pop now? And there's now, okay. How about now? Okay, so let's rate this food out of five. Okay, so I'm gonna rate the main dish a 4.1. Ooh, pretty high. Pretty high because, you know, spicy dishes are not really my favorite thing, but this one wasn't too spicy. And each individual seafood tasted differently, which I really, really appreciated. And the bokeh pop though, Getting a 4.5, so good. How about you? Overall, I think it's like a 4.4. I love sweet taste, 
and this tasted spicy and sweet, but not that much spicy, you know. The agu was really, really tender. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. We'll see you in the next food street. Bye.